Hey guys, Alan here with the Go High Level King, and today we're talking about testing uh, workflows. So, what you want to do when setting workflows is go over here to settings inside the workflow, and you want to go ahead and click allow multiple. Okay, you always want to do that. Um, one more thing I like to do if you only have one user for now, assign an email in the email. Uh, the, the person in the email here it's always good to, good to do okay you want to set it for publish and make sure that you know you're the you're only going to be using it for that one person okay so we're going to go back to actions and then i'm going to go ahead and come back over here to our test user and i'm going to take the the way it's fired off is through a tag that's added so save that i'm going to add the tag again uh tag is called email nurture email nurture. no these have no phone number i'm going to save that this is fire off number one And number one of 10, buying a Houston home, that looks good. We're gonna look at the history real quick. And so it executed and now it's at step two. Let's go over here, we should see him assigned to user, assigned to Yvonne Smith, the email sent out, and then the wait, and then the wait is for next one day. Let's cancel that. We wanna move him along to the next step now. Uh, because the reason why is we wanna test each one of these steps. I'm gonna go one, test again, move all. Okay, and I wanna see another email here, step two of 10, that's good. I wanna take a look at the Gmail, just real quick. And just testing is so important. Uh, check out the new registration. We got a new client already, boop, ba doop, ba -doop. good. Uh, there, and then I'm gonna come over here, test the software out. Step two of the Brian process. Uh, another thing you want to check uh, just real quick is that you want to make sure it doesn't go into spam, okay? Uh, so you don't want that. And just a, a quick note, you want to make sure that you're giving value in each one of these emails. Don't, don't ask for the call of action or sale immediately. You need to be giving value in every single one of these emails, okay? Um, and this looks good. We'll go back and look here. We're going to go back and, and we're going to go to the status. Uh, waiting for time let's wait let's go ahead and skip over and I want to see another one come through I want to go back there, I think it skipped over one I don't know oh that's the old one I'm sorry there goes step three okay that's that I want to see step three don't make snapshots and suggestions couple of little a couple of little side notes here and these this these email sequences you need to have a trigger link you need to have a trigger link that when the when the customer or the client, uh, I'm sorry, when the customer receives this email and they click it, I want to be able to track that link so I can fire off another workflow based on that link. I see a lot of of my uh, my own personal clients that I do their marketing for them for go high level. They don't they use they don't do that and so they're not tracking. They're not they're not making totally efficiency. Um, and then we talk about that in another video about adding a database on the back end and giving that information and trap information about what that user is doing on their website. So all this stuff goes together and then we feed it through custom values. But I don't want to blow your mind through that just yet. We're going to go here and just test another one, waiting for another one. And is that, what is it here? It's the number four. Did it go? Hmm. Okay, where is it at? Let's take a look. Well, pretty sure I sent that through. Okay, move on, let's try it. Sometimes these things, this, this character right here is not at the right place. And see, this is not like live. So sometimes you have to switch and sometimes you may even have to refresh. Okay, that's what I thought. So it's waiting right there. I wonder if we got another email over here. Yep, tip number four came, and tip number four is right here. Doesn't have a trigger link, so we need to add that. And remember, we don't have to, it's always a good idea to add a template. Uh, you wanna add a template, and you do that over here in email marketing. You put it in here, email marketing, and then uh, templates templates and you put one uh, add a template and add an email template it's that easy and then you can reuse that template as needed in the future 
Now I have sent uh, I have sent uh, a little notice up to Go High Level that we need to have folders in here so we can get a little bit more organized. But uh, but if you're not, you need to stay organized yourself, and these need to be named something that helps you stay organized. So some kind of this is the naming convention that you need to come up with for now to stay organized. Because in one of my clients, I have about a hundred different ones. It's hard. Um, so um, let's go back. I'm gonna go back over here. Go back here. Do 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 do. Here and this seems to be really working well. I'm not gonna hold you up and and tell you every and go through each step, but I will go through each step until I'm at the end. And looking at this, you need to add another. Just looking at this at the end, you need to add another contact tag. And this tag is not gonna be in here because we need to add it. We need to add it, and the way you do that is come over here to workflows. Sorry, go back, go over here to settings to that account. You need to come over here to uh, tags, and then you need to add a create a new tag. And then we say uh, email nurture complete. Add. Okay, then you come back over here, and now you're gonna have to re we're gonna have to refresh this because the way it's set up, it's set it, it goes and fetches the data every time on refresh. So if you don't see your tag, you need to refresh. It on that page i see a lot of uh of our own in-house programmers uh having some problems with that and i always just refresh the page because you just added it and it's not there so you should come over here you scroll down you added a tag or you didn't save that so it's okay add a tag and that tag is called email nurture complete and then email nurture complete and you can see it right there and i want to save that and save this right here you and of course the reason why you want to do that is because on that tag and you want to go ahead and have another chain of events in the future that when the email nurture uh, is completed i want to fire another one there may be another uh a journey that's maybe and not so intensive so this is every day he's getting you know so we're going to switch to a, a one year program or a six month program where he gets one every you know two weeks or every month or something like that or we may even do another script that adds him to a, a subs subscription you know something like that but we want to be able to do another chain of events so tag 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 don't ever think you're over tagging you need to stay organized like that so those are my two tips for the uh, my few tips for the day i hope you enjoy it enjoyed it if you did hit the thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video i'm on go high level king uh on youtube and uh i'm uh, uh and i'm happy to be here i'll see you on the next one